Hi, I'm Greg from RVH Lifestyles, and I want to answer a question today that a few people have been asking me recently, which is, how short an RV hauler can we build? Now, to really make it short, what a lot of people are considering is not having a smart car bed on the back, but having a very short, either no bed, or tucking that axle up behind the sleeper. Let me explain to you where the numbers come from and how we end up with a really short rig that effectively, with a sleeper, is 23 feet long. For illustration purposes, we've come to a Volvo here that does not have a bed on it. And remember, we're talking about not putting a smart car up there, but moving that axle as close as we can to the back of the sleeper, and also allowing the hitch to be placed in here. Now what I've done is I've shown, just for illustration purposes, this one's been singled mid, so we have moved that axle in between where it used to be. If we took that axle, just imagine with me, we moved it right up back as close as we can to the back of the sleeper, as close as we can to these fuel tanks, this is approximately where Volvo would put that axle if we ordered from the factory or if we chose to move that one up. Now let me get close to the frame and show you some numbers. Sorry about the wind. If we move this axle along the frame right back up as far as we can it comes into these bolts what will happen is all of this cross member torque arm of course the pumpkin of the drive uh, pumpkin of the differential this all gets shifted up and what it does is when this gets shifted up in behind the sleeper i can bring a hitch an et hitch a comfort ride hitch i can put it between that red line and that red line, okay? Now, approximately, this is where the pin would be located. In other words, it is seven feet, one inches from the pin location to the fairings. And why I'm showing that number is, with the pin location being there, we're able to, if the trailer's sticking out that way, if we turn that trailer towards us, the width of the trailer is 51 inches from the pin to this corner. So we will clear this vertical edge of the fairings with a little bit of space to spare, which is nice. Um, but again, Volvo and we can only move this axle up so far until it interferes with fuel tanks and so on. Um, we just don't want to move it right up underneath the sleeper because it would be just too darn close. Some other measurements now. So, the rear of the wheel, imagine it would be now coming back, the curvature would be here. And as I said, my hitch is from there to that red line. So let's show you some measurements. If we were dealing with a Volvo 630 or a 670, so this is the shorter sleeper, okay? The one we're looking at right now, that is a 780. You know it's a 780 because we've got the two windows on the side. So this is not a, a shorter sleeper. We can get one that's a little bit shorter. From the front bumper to the vertical edge of this fairing, excluding the black, making as short as we can to the white edge, that is 15 feet 10 inches. If we add the length from there, where the end of the fairings are, all the way up, to my pin location being seven feet one inches. If we add those two numbers together, 1510 plus seven foot one gives us a 22 foot 11 inch or 23, let's call it, rig to the pin. So you need to add to that measurement your trailer length. So if we had a little bit shorter sleeper, instead of the 780 that you see behind me, we've got a 670 or a 630 sleeper. Add to it that short, short bed that can't carry a smart car. We would have a 20, 23 foot long RV hauler. Add to that your trailer from the pin to the back bumper of your trailer. So theoretically, 23, and if you want it to stay under 65 or at 65, you could add 
a 42 foot trailer. Hope those numbers make sense. Thanks for watching. Give you a little bit uh, more information here on the screen. I'm going to bring up some other videos to the side. And if you're curious about what we build at RVH Lifestyles, click on one of those or certainly in the description field. If you open up the video more and look at the description, we'll have a link to our website where you can get more info. Thanks for watching.